in today's session of Divorce Court. Aura Hendricks says it was bad enough to have a hysterectomy at 25, but when her husband James refused to ever touch her again, her marriage became a living hell. This man, who's supposed to be my husband, was supposed to be there and love me, said I'm half a woman, Your Honor. I reach out to touch him. He tell me don't touch him, that I was disgusting. I'm beautiful. Can you say that? No, ma'am, because I don't feel it. Today, Aura Hendricks tries to put her life back together again as she faces James Hendricks one last time in divorce court. All rise. Court is now in session. Maybelline Ephraim presiding. You may be seated. Good day, ladies and gentlemen. This is a matter of Aura Hendricks versus James Hendricks. And I'm advised that you've been married for 16 years? Yes, ma'am. And you're going to end a 16-year relationship? Yes, ma'am. You don't even look like you could be married 16 years. You don't look that old. What's going on? Your Honor, two months after my second child was born, I had to have a complete hysterectomy. When I looked to my husband to be there for me, to go through what, how I was feeling. I'd reach out to touch him. He'd tell me, don't touch him, that I was disgusting. And he would tell you that I would stop having sex with him. I, I stopped having sex with him, Your Honor, can because he told quick, me I was half a woman. Can I, can I respond to that, Your And Honor, I could not respond deal when with she that. Finishes, Mr. Mr. Hendricks. I was 25 years old having a hysterectomy. And he told you then that you were half a woman. Did he understand what, what had happened to you? Yes. He didn't care. He didn't want me anyway, Your Honor. While we were married, I've caught him with several different women. Now can I jump now, in there, Your Honor, respond to that? When was your second child born? How soon can, after can your I marriage jump in and was the second that? child born? How soon after my marriage? Yes. About a month. A month after your marriage, the second child was born? No, I'm sorry. Uh, we got married. And I got pregnant within a month when he came home. And that was your second child? That's with him, yes. So it's been 15 years since this occurred? Right. And you remained there for 15 years hearing that you were half a woman and you were no that good? That stayed in my mind, Your Honor. I mean, I was 25 years old, and to keep hearing that I'm half a woman. Your Honor, can I jump in I there and I couldn't go to, to nobody now, else, Your Honor. I need to be Because I felt yeah, like to every deception. other man, that's deception, how they were going to look at me. I, I can show you a pattern of deception with my wife. First of all... Oh, he didn't we, say I was half a woman? You didn't all, say that, Kaz? I never said that. You, Kaz, you said Honor, that. Your Honor, let me respond to that. Hold I'm not going to talk to you, Your Honor. he said that, Your Honor. And please, first of all, wait a minute. I appreciate that. Talk to me, not each other. Yes, Keep your eyes focused this way. May not be the best thing to look at, but that's all you have today. Yep. <laughs> first of all, we slept together within a week after we met. Right after we slept together, she said she was pregnant. At the time, I said, I asked her, how, do you, how could you know you're pregnant right now? Right after we finished having sex, believe me, a woman knows. So I, I took it as that. I'm I was naive at the time. I was your only Honor, around 19 years old. Can white. I finish, Your Honor? Hold Can on I finish? a second. Yeah, I'm going I'm to explain that. Now it's getting ready to come out. First of all, she told me she was pregnant. She two wanted to get weeks? married right you mean away. Two, the, the minute you finished the sexual intercourse, she said, I'm pregnant? Yes. Oh, give me a break. Yes. <laughs> yes. And your then Honor. she told me a woman knows. Your now, Honor. Can I, can I finish, Your, your Honor. Honor? Okay, so one. she wanted to get married right away. At that time, I was 19, 20 years old, fresh in the military. I was traveling. I was having me a good time and party and sing. And all you were doing was having sex. That's all I was doing, Your Honor. Okay, so I told her I wasn't ready to get married. I had orders to go to Germany. She threatened to take the child. I would never see him again if we don't get married now. I said, well, I'm not getting married. I called her bluff. She got out the military. She went back home. What do you mean you, you called her bluff? She, I, I said, I'm not going to marry you. You're going to threaten me and say, I'm going to take your child away. You're not going to see him again. Okay. I was not ready to get married. So she went home. I went to Germany. Please. She contacted me. She sent me pictures of the child. I, I assumed it was mine. And I even started the sending... The child was I, white. I, I, Be quiet. I even started sending allotments home because I thought the child was mine. The child is not white. The child is the same complexion as me. When, uh, I had a five-year-old picture of me and him. We both look alike, so I assume it was mine. I even started sending allotment money home. 
So you're saying you only married her because you believed that she had given birth to your child? Yes, ma'am. Your I, I was figured, three I, months I, I'm pregnant when I met family, him. Honor. I'm from an old-fashioned family. Three months pregnant, Your Honor, when I met him. Well, maybe, he knew it. Well, maybe Miss Hendricks, what he's telling me, his side of the story, which yes, I'm going to allow you to refute, is that maybe you were three months pregnant. But according to him, maybe you knew you were three months pregnant. He didn't know at all. And you told him you were pregnant as soon as he finished having sex with you. No, ma'am. Exactly. Well, no, ma'am, Your Honor. That's his he side knew story. I was pregnant because exactly. I wasn't even wearing a military uniform. He, I was only in the military there for one month. Your then honor, I got out. Your honor, so how here, in the world? Here's where the deception is. I asked her about that. So how come you don't never wear a uniform? Because I, I was to. pregnant. Because I don't have to. I'm in finance. We don't have to wear uniforms. He's been all the in the time. military over that's seven years. He know you have to wear uniforms. At that time, I'd only been in a year and a half, Your Honor. Like again, and, I was oh, a year and a half. He didn't now. know. He was well, in. You know what? You both knew a lot of things, but you pretended that you didn't know. You knew that you could get pregnant having sex without being protected, but it didn't Your matter Honor, to you. I Hold never on told a second. him it was his child. I never told him that. Well, Cash, then, you know yes, I ain't told you that. Cash, you look at me. You look at me and tell me. No, no, no. Your Honor, he's trying to get. Three or four years ago, she finally one. showed me this a picture of this white guy from. that she met in basic training or AIT and had sex with and got pregnant by. She finally admitted it and said, the child's not yours. Your Honor, I'm sorry. my child is Here's half white. Don't look nothing this like him. This is after you married her, she said it's not your child. Yes, ma'am. <laughs> so what does lie. that have to do with her having a hysterectomy? But well, that has nothing to do with your honor. But I'm talking about the deception, your honor. I'm talking about the deception. How could I deceive and him, your honor, so you with my child wife? Only because your you honor. believe that she was pregnant with your child. Yes, yes, ma'am. Why would I have gotten away with that? Yes, ma'am. Here's, here's the other thing. Half white. Here's How could I have gotten away with Ms. it? Ms. Hendricks. I'm sorry. When you look at him, he married you initially because he believed that you were pregnant with his child. That's not true, your honor. I was already three months How pregnant. Do you know because I was three months pregnant when, you when I met him. When you look at my son, Your Honor, you cannot it. look at him and tell he is white. Did you know she was pregnant when you met her? No, Your Honor, I had no idea. The Bible, Your Honor. I had Make, no he idea. He won't do that. You know why I he won't do that? I have no problem doing that. I have no problem doing that. He did not tell me she was pregnant. I'm not giving him a Bible, Your Honor. Because he's lying. That's why he ain't gonna tell you the truth. I done caught this man with different women. One day after we Christmas, we get kicked out of the military. For 30 days, we were supposed to have left post. Your Honor, I didn't even know nothing about it. Miss Hendricks, you, you, you want to talk about deceiving? All right, you're going to talk about deceiving in a minute. Well, can I get my story out? I just you can get it. your story out when he finishes Thank you. this part. Thank you. And that's the last time I'm going to say it. Please. I just want to add a couple other things, Your Honor. At times when I was going to go out with the fella, she would actually chase me to the car, and I had to run to the car and jump in the car no, to get out just to get away from him. her because she wanted to go oh. to the club with all us guys. This oh, is, is this the type person of stuff we're talking about. about. He this know is I before we got him, married. Your Honor. Hold this up, look at him. This is before we got married. Who are you? You're just about to have a hissy. You just hissy. Come, come up there, please. Hey, come on. Come on. Come up there. Go on. I'm her friend. Listen. I've known them for Did like... Did I say for anybody to come up to that wedding stage? Your Honor, please. Your Honor, please. This is not funny. Your Honor, I am not laughing, and you need to know that I'm in control of my courtroom. Your Honor. All I simply asked was, who was this woman? Sit down. Yes, ma'am. I didn't ask her to come up there. You told her to come. You don't direct my court. When divorce court returns, Aura pleads for help. That's all I want from this man. I just want him so I can get in therapy, so I can start to heal, because I can't take this no more. And Aura's witness takes the stand. That is not a lie. You are nothing but a liar. Stop. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in divorce court, call us toll free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. Divorce Court is back in the case of Aura Hendricks, who says after she had a hysterectomy at age 25, her husband James called her half a woman. Your Honor, this is what I'm saying. I am so messed up. I need help, Your Honor. What's the problem? In 15 because years, he you took me it? through everything. The day after Christmas, we get kicked out of military housing, Your Honor. I didn't even know my husband was kicked out of the military. I'm going to work every day trying to make a home for our kids. And I asked Cass, I said, Cass, what's going on? He's sitting there looking at me all stupid. And then I said, well, I asked the MPs, I said, listen, I said, let me find out what's going on. We so had to get out in the, the cold. Point that you, the police have come, so you didn't have a You know clue. why he got kicked out? No. Because he had a baby with another woman. That wasn't the reason, Your Honor. Yes, so he's constantly reason, telling you that you have a woman Karen. and he's that going yeah. out with other women. And you know what? I didn't find out about that, that until six she can't months show any later. I asked you to be quiet, did I not? So now, all of this time, he's, he stays with you? 
Yes, ma'am. But he's constantly berating you. Yes, ma'am. And he was out of the military. That's what I'm saying. He well, was how did that make you feel when know. he was berating you and saying that you were less than a woman? That I am half a woman. See, my husband knew I had why some emotional like issues was... when I married him. He knew this. Okay. He knew what I had went through. So you're already it. suffering some emotional problems? Yes, ma'am. So he some knew other relationship? This. No, no. ma'am. I was picked on in school. So you really were already bad. dealing with a low self-esteem yes, issue? Yes, ma'am. And not feeling too good about yourself? Yes, ma'am. And do you think that he took advantage of he that? He did. I couldn't go to work half the time, Your Honor, because all I could think about, this man who's supposed to be my husband, supposed to be there and love me, said I'm half a woman, Your Honor. In, can I jump in? And you, you, and you believe that? I was 25 that? years old. Oh, did you do any therapy? Ma'am. Have you been through anything? I can't afford it. I'm taking care of the kids by myself. Can I jump in there, Your Honor? No. I can't Good. afford it, Your Honor. And that's all I want from this man. I just want him so I can get in therapy, so I can start to heal, because I can't take this no more. So you're asking him to pay for your counseling? Yes, ma'am. So in the last 15 years, you've lived through feeling like you were less than a woman? Yes, ma'am. I've and had a breakdown, Your Honor. You had I a mean, nervous breakdown? I had a breakdown. I, could, I, I can't hardly do anything, you know, and I can't get in a relationship with someone, because when I do, You're I don't afraid. stay with them long, because they, I feel like they're going to do with me Honor, the way he did. No. Please, Leon, make him tell, tell Honor, you the Honor, truth. You're not, you're not me a Is that why you're here in court? Yes, ma'am. I need help, you know, and I need to heal, because I can't do this no more. I can't live like you, this. Well, you need to understand that many of women, many of women, let's start it now, many of women have gone through hysterectomies. He made me feel make like I was than, nothing, I know, Your but Honor. But it doesn't make you less than a woman. Start now. I'm beautiful. Can you say that? No, ma'am. I can't. Say it. I cannot. Well, let's try I it. I would be lying. I can't. I don't let's, feel let's, that let's, way. I know, but let's try it. Why I just does, can't, Your Honor. You know Please. what? The healing has to come mental. I'm trying, but I Whether just can't. Whether you feel it or not, you have to her. say it. Your Honor, can I please, please. You can't you say, say I'm beautiful? No, ma'am, because I don't feel it. All right, but let's just say the words. <laughs> Let's say the words. I can't, Your Honor. You haven't tried. I can't, because I don't feel it. The Lord is my witness. I don't you feel tried it. haven't tried to say I can't. I can't. Can I say something, Your Honor? I just can't. You refuse to do it. I can't. You this is what I'm person. saying on the inside like me, of me, I'm Your human. Honor. I cannot. This is how he had made Your me Honor, feel. Can I, he can't, can't even look now. at me, Your Honor. He can can't look at me. Now. You know why? Because he know I'm telling the truth, Your Honor. Can I respond, Your Honor, no. please? Let me talk here from the witness. Can, can I get a word in? <laughs> you know what? I'm controlling this courtroom, whether you like it or not. <clears throat> Let me hear from the witness now. I can come up now? Yes. <clears throat> What's your name? Monica Fulton. What is, uh, what do you have to offer to this? I used to live with them in military housing, and there were numerous times where I've heard him say, you ain't nothing, you ain't, he curse words, whatever, and stuff. Came home from work one day, went into the house, caught him in bed with another woman. At home? At home, in base housing. I was there at the time. That's a lie. That is not a lie. You are nothing but a liar. That's two birds of a feather flock You are nothing but a liar. Mr. Henry, be She's a separate person just like her. Anyways, excuse me. No, but anyway. No. Okay. You know that's a lie. You Mr. Hendricks, it. if it's a lie, then just let me hear mm -hmm. it. If you know it's a lie, you're not going to convince me one way or the other by saying it's a lie. Let me hear it. Let me judge <clears throat> the credibility of it. All right? I was there the time when the military police came to the house with the people from but housing. tell me you said that you saw him at oh. his house with another woman in the bed. Yes, ma'am. And the woman was in the bed? Yes. When we walked in the and door... And where was his wife? <laughs> we, I was taking her home from work. We used to work at the... We're, um, together. Your Honor. And what did he know, Mr. Hendricks? And what did he have to say about that? Nothing. Because OJ grabbed the girl. He ran out the house. I don't, you know, and I'm like trying to calm her down. She's trying to fight the girl. I let the girl get her clothes and she leaves out. And we went searching, looking for him. Couldn't find him nowhere. He didn't even come so home. So did he stay home for three for days? Oh. About three to four days. And then what else have you observed? Okay, we were. Um, so you said you've heard him calling her names? Oh, God, all the like time. What? I can say it. Well, he's did called I her ask a you? bitch. He's called her. He told her, "You are not, you are not a woman. Um, I can never touch you again. I don't desire you." I used to date her brother, and he would say that in your presence. Oh God, in front of everybody. Do you know about her nervous breakdown? Oh yes, oh yes. <laughs> and why? Why didn't you get some therapy before, Miss? I Hendricks? couldn't afford it. You have a seat. And why can you? You think you can afford it now? You still can't, I can't afford, afford it. it. You How Honor. much will it cost you? Well, I have a uh, itemized list. May I see uh, that, Joe? Please. You don't have any health insurance? It don't start to September. Yana, could I respond <laughs> to, to, to what, now, what was just said? When I tell you...
Can I respond and just whisper? When I tell you. <laughs> so you want to do 20 sessions of therapy for $875. Well, that's they your said share. that's how much, you know, that they This is your pay. share of the insurance. Yes, ma'am. Uh, I mean, this is your share of what your insurance will not cover. Is that yes, what you're telling me? Yes, ma'am. And your insurance will be effective soon? September the 1st. But until then, what happens? I have nothing. But I can't stay at home like this no more. I got a, still a young daughter at home, 15, and I can't even be the right kind of mother to her because I'm either crying half the time on the phone calling Monica, saying, Monica, I can't sleep. When divorce court returns, the judge renders her verdict. Hold it, I've heard enough she about sex. Pregnant. Okay? She's just gotten pregnant, Your Honor. I heard enough. And an update on the case of Sherry Fortune versus Carrie Fortune. Your Honor, I was 35. I was in heat. I got me a young oh! man. Your Honor. That I thought they in can heat. satisfy my needs. Divorce Court will be back in session in a moment. Divorce Court is back in the case of Aura Hendricks, who says her husband Jane's refusal to touch her after she had a hysterectomy has left her emotionally scarred for life. Now, what do you have to say? She already stated to the court that she had these emotional problems before we got married. But I was not and called half a woman, And she did not tell me she had has. no emotional problems, Your Honor. And we've been separated since 93. And she's, and, and she's had seven, seven years to get an opportunity to get some help. I shouldn't years, be held responsibility for that. Because, first of all, the reason why I'm not I, I'm not up here to portray myself as an angel, Your Honor. Yeah, I went out and slept around, but you even, hear that, but when she got see? pregnant, I'm admitting to that. I'm, I'm saying when she first got pregnant with my daughter, she stopped having sex with me. I was lucky. You if told I had me sex I was her. half a woman, Cass. We're talk, you what could I do? I'm talking about when, when you first got pregnant right, with all Nikki. All right, I, you don't Your have Honor, to repeat that. All I'm that. saying is when she first got pregnant with Nikki, not after she was born, she stopped having sex with me. I was lucky to have sex maybe once every two weeks, every three weeks. You ought to see well, when she I, I said like, I was having sex with him when I had my she son. She just got pregnant, Hold Your Honor. Hold it. I've heard enough she about just sex. Pregnant. Okay? She just gotten pregnant, Your Honor. I heard enough. He's not responsible for all of your therapy sessions yes, because this condition, you know, you had it before. When you had insurance, you probably should have taken advantage of it. You've waited a long time, but still you're entitled to it. I was and I'm going to order him to take, I'm saying seven years. You waited a while. I was embarrassed. Okay. All right. This is hard for me right okay, now. Okay, now you're not going to be embarrassed. You're going to go and do it, I hope. Yes, ma'am. Each session is $100. So I'm going to order you to pay Mr. Um, Hendricks $50 for each session until she begins, the, until her insurance is effective. After the insurance is effective, you pay half of what she has to pay until the sessions are concluded. That's the order of the court. Thank you, Your Honor. Thank you so much. All court right. Adjourned. When Divorce Court returns, an update on the case of Sherry Fortune versus Carrie Fortune. My homeowner's was there. You thought if you got you a younger man, he could handle you because you... the boat. He could go overtime with you. Closed captioning for Divorce Court, provided by. If you would like to have the judge hear your case in Divorce Court, call us toll-free at 1-877-311-2222 or email us at www.divorcecourttv.com. And now for an update on a previous case in Divorce Court. Sherry Fortune said she thought marrying her husband, Carrie, would fill a void in her life. Your Honor, I was 35. I was in heat. I got me a young oh! man Your Honor. that I thought they can heat. satisfy my needs. My hormones were there. You thought if you got you a younger man, he could handle you because you... the boat. He could go overtime with you. But she realized that was a big mistake. He was lazy. All he did was sleep all the time. Every time I come home, I'm like, he done broke the world record of sleeping all the time from morning to night to day to evening, every day. Sherry told the judge that Carrie destroyed her house in one of his violent outbursts. Carrie admitted that he destroyed her property, but only because Sherry pushed him to it. The judge ordered him to reimburse her $685. Sherry says she is still at her sexual peak and hopes she will meet a man who can handle her. She thinks that word of her sexual appetite may have gotten out and says a male friend recently bought her a $1,000 sofa, hoping to take their friendship to the next level. Hey, uh, how do I feel about the judge's verdict? 
I don't really think it was fair, but is that what she said? I had to deal with it. It was very fair, very fair. I couldn't ask for nothing better. I feel like maybe she had, did have emotional problems, but I had no, no way of knowing that at the beginning. Like I said, I felt like I was deceived. <laughs>